This is W6, where RJ Broadhead dives into the who, what, where, when, why, and how they all come together for a Tiger Cats win. Win, win, win. The Tiger Cats play their second game of the week Friday in Ottawa at 7.30. This is W6. I'm RJ Bridehead. Well, who is playing? We know the Tiger Cats are in it, and they visit Ottawa. Tiger Cats have four wins and seven losses. They're third in the East Division, and they're coming off a loss, 41-28 to to Toronto on Labor Day. They're in Ottawa on Friday. The Tiger Cats have won three straight on the road. The Ottawa Red Blacks have a 3-8 and eight record. They are last in the East, two points behind Hamilton, but the Tiger Cats have already won the season series. The Red Blacks have lost five in a row. Three of those losses during that slump have been by four points or less. And they've led in all five of those games during the losing streak. The Red Blacks against the East Division are 0-5. The Tiger Cats against the East are 2-5, with both wins coming against Ottawa. So what's at stake? The Tiger Cats are hosting the Grey Cup, and they want to be in that game. So beating teams below them in the standings is crucial. Hamilton is looking for consistency. They've managed to win back-to-back games once this season. Those two wins in a row is their longest winning streak. It came back in early July when they beat Ottawa and then Edmonton. Ottawa has been close in a lot of games, but haven't been able to translate those close games into wins. If they are going to keep their playoff hopes alive, they have to catch Hamilton. So this game has a lot on the line for two teams that are desperate to qualify for the postseason. Stavros Katsantonis has six tackles and a quarterback sack in two games against Ottawa this season. He's approaching Friday's game like he does all games. You know, every game test is a must-win game. You never go into a game thinking, oh, well, we don't really have to win this game. It's, you know, every game is a playoff position, a playoff game to us, especially now more than ever. Um, but but to say that we don't treat every game like that I think would be a, would be a fallacy. So uh, we d- we're definitely coming in there, you know, with, the mi- with on our mind of winning. Um, and that's how we prepare each game. So the where this week is Ottawa. That means it's a road game for the Tiger Cats, and that could be a good thing. Three of their four wins this season have come on the road. They've won three straight away from home and had their best game of the season the last time they traveled. That was to BC. They never trailed in a 30-13 win over the Lions. The Ticats have beaten Ottawa twice this season, including once in the nation's capital. Hamilton hasn't lost in Ottawa since 2018. Two of Ottawa's three wins this season have come at home. They've lost their last two at home, but they've been close games. Hamilton beat them by four points, and Montreal beat them by just one point. This is the final meeting of the regular season between these two teams. Hamilton has won the first two, holding Ottawa to no more than 13 points. The first game was July 8th. Hamilton won 21-13. Then the second game on July 28th in Ottawa... Hamilton won 16-12. Both of those were one-score games, so they were very close. In the first meeting, Matt Schiltz was the starting quarterback. By the way, he will be in uniform for Friday's game. He listed as the third-string quarterback, but he's getting healthy, so that's great news. With Schiltz at the helm in that game against Ottawa, the Tiger Cats won. It was their first victory of the season after an 0-3 start. The second game was the last time we saw Bo Levi Mitchell. He was injured on the second last play of the game. There was also an hour-long weather delay in that one, and it was the only game in which the Tiger Cats have scored a first-quarter touchdown this season. They missed the convert, but still won the game. The touchdown was scored by Duke Williams, his only touchdown of the season. He won't play in Friday's game or for a while as he's been placed on the six-game injured list. Taylor Powell will start on Friday, so that will be three different starting quarterbacks in three games against Ottawa this season. Tim White has led the receiving core in receptions and yards in the last three games, and he feels he's got something good going with Powell right now. Oh, he's been super important, and uh, obviously I'm getting a rhythm with Taylor, and we're just you know putting our best foot forward. and uh, We're definitely looking forward to this game. Uh, we're not going to take Ottawa lightly, and you know, we're ready to just get out there and compete. Winning is important, and I think, you know, the guys that are on here, we want to win. 
So uh, it's an opportunity that we have in front of us, and we got to make it happen. Taylor Powell will be making his sixth start and fifth consecutive start. He's coming off a loss, but did throw three touchdowns. Impressive because he had only thrown one in his previous four starts. And putting up 28 points against Toronto is something to build on. He also completed a season-high 30 passes for 296 yards, which was also a season-high. James Butler was held to just 63 yards rushing against the Argos, which snapped his 100-yard rushing game streak at two in a row. He didn't have a touchdown against Toronto either. That snapped his consecutive games with a touchdown streak at three. The lack of scoring for the Tiger Cats in the first quarter has been evident. Just 19 points in 11 games. Nine of those 19 points, though, have come against Ottawa. Hamilton has outscored their opponents twice in the first quarter. Both were against Ottawa. We'll see if they can get off to a good start against the Red Blacks again on Friday. So why is this a tough game? The Tiger Cats are running out of time. Seven games is all that remains in the regular season. Including Friday's game, they have only two games left against teams that aren't currently in a playoff position. The games between these teams have been close, and the Tiger Cats are coming off a very short week while the Red Blacks had a bye week, so they're rested and ready to go. The Tiger Cats played on Monday, had Tuesday off, practiced Wednesday, and that was their only practice of the week, traveled to Ottawa Thursday, and play Friday. Two games in five days, and not just any game. Monday's Labor Day Classic brings with it a lot of emotion against their biggest rivals. It was a tough physical game, and it was played on the hottest day of the year, so that takes its toll too. However, Stavros Katsantonis thinks it's a good thing to play right away. Team morale is high. I think everyone's Excited to get back out on the field. Uh, that's one of the good things about a short week is, uh, especially coming off, off a loss, is you get to get right back out there and, uh, and prove that you still belong in this league. So if, if there's any one positive to take out of you know, a loss, it's where we're on a quick turnaround and we get to get right back out there and um, you know, show who we are as a team. You can listen to the game on the Ticats Audio Network. Listen. .ticats.ca. Pre-game show with Andy Fantuz and Bubba O'Neill and guests is at 6.30. Play-by-play with me and Luke Tasker is at 7.30. Now that you've got your W6 for this week's game, give the Ticats Audio Network a review on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you find your audio content.